Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be sublimating on a mouse pad and also on a coaster. I will be using my EcoTank 8550 to print out the images that I will be using to sublimate on the mouse pad and on the coaster. Um, I really am enjoying my printer. It is working so good uh, at first it gave me a little bit of trouble after i had set it up um, i had printed like five or six um, images and it did a great job but then after that it started smearing the ink and i will show you later in the video um, some of the uh, the pictures or the images that i used and um, where it was smeared but then I was able to fix the problem. It was the ink pad. And I will also show you later in the video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I will show you um, where the ink pad is in the machine. So you guys can find it. Here I'm just trying my best to center the image on the circle and outlining it with a pencil so that I'll be able to cut it with the scissors and this way it'll be easier for me to see where exactly it's going to go and tape it down. Here is one of the images that I will be using to sublimate on the mouse pad. There's my circle that I already cut up, so I'm ready to, to go. Um, by the way, I use the A sub paper to print out my images. Here is the other image that I will be using to sublimate. And here's the mouse pad, it's also from A sub. Okay, I wanted to show you exactly what is the name of the mouse pad that I ordered and um, the size. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. I will try and link the description in the description area everything that I am using. Um, also, remember that whenever you sublimate, it has to be uh, a sublimation blank. It should say sublimation blank whenever you are sublimating on anything. And here I'm just trying to align the, uh, the mouse pad uh, over the image. Just uh, trying to see if it's going to fit. Um, I have a feeling that it's not. But I'm still going to do it because this one is for myself. I like this image that I printed out and the saying that it has. So... Uh, I'm not, I'm not worried, this is just going to be for me. Right now I'm just practicing on how to do all this stuff, so I'm not worried. Um, I do know that when you print out the images for uh, something like this, the image has to be a little bit bigger than your, um, let's say the mouse pad, right? It has, the image has to be bigger than the mouse pad so it can cover the whole area unless you want just the words in the center or the picture in the center then you can do that which you will see in um, one of my mouse pads I will print out an image that is just the words and it'll be just centered in, in the on the mouse pad and you'll see that
On this one, you will notice that I am placing the image only on the lower part of the mouse pad, and that's because I am giving this one as a gift to a friend, and I have plans on putting something else on the top part of the mouse pad. I still don't know what exactly I'm going to put there, maybe her name or something, but this is just a gift, And but I wanted to supplement it already because I wanted to see how it looked. So I hope you guys like it. I wanted to take this time to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you are enjoying it. And um, if you do like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep on watching more videos. I will be having more videos on sublimation. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave your comments uh, down below. And I'll try and answer your questions as best as I can. Thank you. So here is how it turned out. Uh, the colors are very vibrant. Um, they turned out really nice. I even see the shiny part of um, the ribbon, which it showed on the image when I printed it out. I didn't think it was come out shiny, that it would come out shiny, but yes, it did. I really like it. Now I am going to sublimate the coaster. And here I made a big mistake. I forgot to put the butcher paper on top of the image before I pressed it. Luckily, it did not blow out on me. So, yeah. Don't forget to put the butcher paper on top or bottom because it will stain your heat press. This one is made of aluminum, so I guess it just didn't go through. I don't know. We'll see later on what happens. Now this is the last one. This one is with the words only uh, in the middle of the mouse pad. Um, like I was telling you that you can also just have the words in the middle, nothing on the outside. Uh, it also looks very nice. This one says a small business owner. This is my most favorite one and it's also for myself. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. And here you have them. I love the colors. They are so vibrant. 
and um, I think they all turned out really nice. I don't know about you, but I am enjoying sub sublimation. I want to make more, and um, yeah, this is my most favorite one. Small business owner. Mm, so nice. This one, like I said, it's for my friend with the matching poster. Do you guys like them? Let me know in your comments. If you don't like them, let me know in the comments too. Here I wanted to show you um, how my printer was smearing ink and I could not figure out why I had just bought it and set it up and I had already printed five images and it was working fine but then it started smearing ink couldn't figure it out I tried everything in the manual to do like troubleshooting but it didn't work so finally someone told me that the ink pad, to check the ink pad, that it maybe it needed to be replaced. But I couldn't understand why since it was brand new. But it did. It was full of ink. So I ordered one online through Epson and changed it. And it fixed the problem. Now I have no smearing. So if you guys are having problems with smearing, check your ink pads. It could be that, that it needs to be replaced. Well, I hope that this helps you in some way. If you have any questions, don't forget, forget to leave yeah, your comments down below. I also wanted to show you where the ink, ink pad is located in your printer. You will find it right next to the area where you um, put in the ink. It'll be right next to it, and it's a, it's a gray part cartridge if you can call it a say um, you can pull that clip that's right there pull it so you can do it gently and then you pull it out the way the aerial is showing you just pull out the cartridge and put the other one back in the same way it's very easy Alright guys, we're done with this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.